wanted to ask you a little bit about what have been some of the things you've discovered about Bounders? What are some of the takeaways you maybe have for mm. people watching this little chat with us about Bounders that could be things they can use immediately kind of thing? Yeah. I think boundaries, everyone needs them and to different degrees, number okay. one. Um, I think there's boundaries, personal life, professional life, and otherwise, we all wear different hats. Right. One of the things I would say about boundaries is, I always call it kind of a code of conduct. We're all familiar with that in a wor working place. What's the code of conduct? Yeah, yeah. Well, a boundary is the code of conduct between myself and this particular individual. Sure. So if you're dealing with someone who's toxic or difficult, you've got to have a code of conduct. When they go down that road or that rabbit trail or that conversation, the boundary is, I'm going to cut it off there. If they continue, I'm going to ask them to stop. If they continue, I walk away. So that's kind of a hard boundary. Right, right. But then there's softer boundaries. You've got the overbearing mother-in-law, right. who you're not going to say, I'm walking away from, you know, that's going to be World War III, <laughs> where you have to have soft boundaries, yeah. but they're still needed nonetheless. Yeah. So you're going to have people encroach. And sometimes people feel that a boundary is to keep a person out. A boundary is like a wall around the fortress. It's to protect those within. Right, right. So it's not to feel bad that you're establishing a boundary, but you got to protect your own personal mental health almost, but your own personal peace, because people are going to come and take energy from you all the time. Yes. 